Hey everybody, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead. I'm sorry about the quality of this, folks, but I have to film with my phone. Um, I'm making spaghetti squash with the only spaghetti squash I got out of my garden this year because I didn't plant any spaghetti squash. This guy was a rogue. So tonight I'm making spaghetti squash with vegetarian sauce and cheese. Whatever, I'm not gonna mess with it. This is my home canned vegetable spaghetti sauce. I've always cut them lengthwise, and the last time I did this, uh, I overcooked it. But the best way to do a spaghetti squash is dead nuts. So, there we go. Alrighty. Now this little guy was a rogue squash in my garden. I This was a rogue seed. I didn't plan on growing summer squash because you don't want them to cross pollinate, right? So when I get this cleaned out, we'll be back. Okay, so I'm gonna be cooking this in my new wave. And unlike things, other things I roast in the new wave, I'm not gonna have this turned upside down, okay? I don't want it to really dry out. So I'm turning this upside down so that it's off the bottom of the pan, but there's room for moisture to drip without drying this out. Yeah, I know. I said I was going to finish this off camera. Well, it's nice and stringy, so it's a good spaghetti squash. You want them good and stringy. And that's going to go in the new wave at 350 degrees until I can just press my thumb into it without it collapsing. Probably half an hour. Father is home. So we're going to dish up dinner. Is our baked in the new wave spaghetti squash. I can move the camera for a second. There's a bowl for me, a plate for Papa. Whoops. Yeah, my camera being broken is not uh, making me happy. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a fork and I'm going to go in like this all around the edge. You don't want this to be overcooked, folks. You want it al dente so that you can just do this. Oh, I did it right this time. You just go down the sides of this with the fork. Now this is pretty small. Oh yeah, see? Anyway, as you can see, when you cut it in half like this, and you use the fork, it is so much more beautifully like spaghetti. You could use this probably as the bowl, but I'm not gonna. Because, you know, it's bad enough I'm giving daddy a vegetable instead of noodles. You know what I mean? Jelly bean? Oh yeah, this is like a, the perfect size spaghetti squash for us. Some pepper for Papa. Where's my ladle? There's my ladle. And a nice scoop of spaghetti sauce. Look at that. And let's top it with some Parmigiano. And just because he won't be able to see it, I have to pepper it again. Okay, here. Here, eat it. Well, just try it so we can go sit down in front of the TV. I gotta have a shower. I know you got out of the shower. It's hot. Hmm. Yep, a little watery. It's vegetarian, eh? Yeah, I know. You know? There's no meat in it at all. No? No, it's not bad, eh? I said no, it is good. Thank you, dear. Let me eat my supper. Yes, dear. There's mine. 
This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying it may have been a rogue squash that didn't intend to get planted, but it sure is a tasty supper. Mm. Take care. God bless.